All right, so I'm gonna go over with you guys what we do before each event. Uh, it's basically, we start off with a jog, get your heart rate up, get a little sweat on. And then we go through some lunges, some squats, you know, work our hips, knees, ankles, elbows, get all your joints loose. Then we go through a good stretch so we can be loose for the game, not get any injuries and prolong our paintball careers. Five each leg. Now we're gonna loosen up the elbows, hips, ankles, wrists, everything. Start with the wrists. Elbows. Shoulders, start off small, work into big. Reverse it. Work those hips, get them loose. Do the knees. Right ankle. Switch. Switch. Hold for about a 20 second count. Leg out. Now all you're stretching, you don't want to bounce anything. You just want to be a slow, consistent stretch. Otherwise you can uh, get small tears like a, like a strain. Switch, all right. Stretching here, you're getting, your, getting a little bit of your back. Mainly it's your hamstring. Try to point those toes back towards you. You'll feel it in your calf. All right, pull your left leg in. All right, this is gonna give you another hamstring stretch, but it's real. what it's real good for is it opens up that joint in your knee and allows fluid to go in and out. And uh, especially if you have any injuries or anything like that, you wanna get blood flow. Blood flow is what helps your body to you know, heal and uh, you know, helps maybe keep you from uh, getting so many injuries. Now put your right leg over your left knee. You're gonna reach through, grab here. And pull just till you feel that stretch in your right hip. Uh, it's a really good way to open up those hips, loosen them up. Like I said, you don't want to bounce. So when you're reaching over, you don't want to be pushing in. That can get, that can help. That can tear or strain your muscles. You just want to do a consistent hold, deep breaths in and out. Let your body just naturally loosen up and flex down. All right, now roll to your stomach. Put your hands about shoulder width apart. We're gonna stretch our lower backs. Now, if you're real flexible, you'll be able to go all the way up and lock your elbows out. But you want to keep your uh, your midsection on the ground and just get a good stretch in your back. Right arm across your body. Get a good stretch in that shoulder. Switch. Get right elbow over your head. Stretch out that tricep. Switch. All right, if you have anything else that's sore, you want to hold it longer, uh, anything you need to work on, go ahead and stretch it out on your own.